first I wanted to be like an actress and a singer, but ever since like after that, like 14, 15, 16, I wanted to do YouTube. I had several YouTube channels. I had a YouTube channel with a friend. I had a YouTube channel by myself. Um, and this is my third or fourth YouTube channel. I had a tarot YouTube channel, um, exclusively just for tarot, but I think I only uploaded like three videos on there. Um, so what I'm getting at is that this is not a new thing. Like I wanted to do YouTube for as long as I can remember. And now I have this like platform and even though it's small, it's 2000 of you like that decided to subscribe that watched one of my videos at some point. And um, yeah, so I'm really just going for it. And I think there's a lot that I need to work on, like mentally and internally. Like I, had a, I have a lot of beliefs around money and around success, especially. I think money, I think my money beliefs are actually not that bad, but my beliefs around success and having success and being self-employed and stuff are something that I need to work on. Um, like, oh, you know, this was like typical, like, oh, this channel blew up, or this channel was successful, but I can't, you know, like, that kind of mentality, like, this kind of mentality of, like, oh, they, like, the success is just reserved for this person, or for this person, but it's just like, no, they're not any different from me, maybe they have different ideas, or different personality, sure, but... I can be just as successful and it's not about competition, it's about inspiring each other, helping each other out, pushing each other. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys because you guys are part of the journey and, like, I have visions for the future. Like, I have the Patreon, I do custom videos, but I don't know how long I'll actually do the custom videos for. I think um, Patreon and YouTube is already like four videos a week is already like a lot <laughs> so I don't know um, and I'm, I'm trying to or I want to save up money I want to have my own place so I can film more videos so it's not that difficult and also just in general for my life in general I want to have my own place my dream is to have a tiny house um, to own a tiny house because renting is always kind of first of all, 
of their stuff like some of it has plastic but most of their stuff doesn't have plastic 
ever stop with YouTube or anything like that, uh, at least not anytime soon. Um, I don't know how it's going to be if I'm like 60, <laughs> but like I don't plan on like stopping. But if, you know, there's another job that I'm like, oh yeah, now I'm passionate about this, fine. But I honestly, I just can't see myself wanting to do anything else. I just can't. It's like, this is my passion. Like I said, maybe a second channel and I would have two channels where like, because I'm so, I'm interested in like a bunch of things and I don't know if you guys know Gwen Quist but she has an ASMR channel and a different channel that's kind of how I would do it you know like both types of channels um, I'm a little worried that if I have a regular channel people that watch those videos and then find my ASMR channel because I'm going to link them probably are going to like hate on ASMR but I mean those people will just be blocked immediately because I have to say this community is so positive. I've rarely gotten any negative vibes from anybody. Like some weird requests maybe here and there, um, which is fine if you're into that, but I'm just not that type of creator. It doesn't matter. Um, but most of the time it's very, 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 very positive and I want to keep it that way, but I think this is just my fear again. This is just my fear. So I'm gonna go for the other channel eventually, but I think it will be, like I said, maybe if I have my own place or like maybe I'm gonna start it in the in the apartment, but I think for now I don't even know how and to make those videos that I want to make while still living with my family. So that's something for the future. Maybe by the end of the year. I don't know yet, but for now I'm focusing on ASMR and I just felt like sharing with you why this is something that I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I love, I love, 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 love watching ASMR do it. Like, that's something that I realized. Like, it hit me. Like, obviously I knew that I liked ASMR, but like, I love watching ASMR. I love being inspired by other creators. I love watching their content. I I would subscribe to so many creators' Patreons if I had the money. I just, I can't get enough of it. And I love being both a creator and a, like a viewer of ASMR. It's like, it's very enriching, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's like, do what you love and love what you do. And I just think that this is the way for me right now. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen in two years. I don't know if I'll change my mind or if, you know, the money situation is going to be so dire that I have to do something else. But for now, I'm going to use my privilege. And this year, I really want to make this work. This is my goal. Um, and whatever the outcome is, if by the end of the year, I have, I don't know, 2.5k, and the same video views I have now, fine. If by the end of the year my channel grew 
episodes as well as regular podcast episodes like it would be like half half kind of like um rage asmr does it like that i think um and where i talk to different people about different things so yeah i'm i've been thinking about like making a second channel with my normal voice just like i don't know what i eat in a day fitness routines um anxiety. I have anxiety if you didn't know and it's still a very back, big step for me to say it out loud because for a long time I didn't want to admit it to myself. <laughs> this was kind of loud. I'm sorry. I'm almost done with my tea view if you bothered, bothered by that in any way because I was always the bubbly, optimistic, um, very energized personality in, you know, my peer group and the people I was interacting with. Like, I remember specifically at school, people would ask me, like, how are you always in such a good mood? And, like, I used to have a lot of fears as a child, but as I grew older, I kind of, like, they kind of, like, went away. And then they came back a few years ago. Like, I had a long time of just not really being scared anything and just going for it, living my life to the fullest and being very bubbly, optimistic. Um, obviously bad stuff still happened, but not related to anxiety. And now a few years ago, like 2017, 18, that's more than a few years, <laughs> some years ago, that kind of changed and my anxiety came back and it comes in phases. Um, and I specifically struggle with health anxiety and that's just something I kind of feel like I want to share, I want to help people with, and I can do that through ASMR, but I also want to do it in a different way, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm kind of on a personal growth journey right now where I try to uh, journal and do gratitude. I um, try getting into manifesting, although I have to say it's kind of hard for me because I feel kind of blocked. Um, so I don't know if that works. Um, but yeah, there's like, you know, spirituality, astrology, uh, which I'm a little into, and moonology. And this would all be stuff that I would talk about on the other channel as well, but mainly like fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, that kind of thing. Um, I love ASMR though, because ASMR is like everything combined. Like I can make it what I eat in a day. I can make a video of cute outfits that I'm wearing and I can just do a whispered voiceover. I can do a ramble where I talk to you guys about stuff. Um, I was thinking maybe I could do like once a month, um, like a ramble about something that was on my mind heavily that month or something, like a topic. I love rambling and talking in real life. <laughs> so this is like a really cool outlet for me to just talk to you and Sometimes I find it hard to picture that some people are actually, like, sitting in front of their phone or their computer listening to me ramble and hearing what I have to say. And I'm, like, wondering, like, what do they think of it? <laughs> like, do they think what I say is complete BS or do they relate to it? Um, that's why I love 